MSU TV is on the air, bringing you the best student-produced educational, entertaining, and informative programming. Broadcasting out of Breckenridge Hall on the campus of Moorhead State University, MSU TV is signing on. Hey, and welcome back to, uh, to Kaleidoscope. Today is our last show. Today we will be talking about internet with international students about how their experience has been here in Moorhead. And my name is Kenya Hervé. I'll be your host with... And Brittany Pritchett. And we have an exciting show for you. And I know I've always wanted to travel to different places. And since I cannot travel to those places, it is coming here to Moorhead with the different students, with them sharing their different experiences. So we're about to go on a quick break, and we'll bring up our first guest for today. And till next time, we'll see you soon. Yo, why are you looking at bags, bro? What you need is a chick magnet. You put me in the room, and boom, chicks. That's what I'm talking about! We're back with G. He's from Korea. All right. What's your full name, G? Uh, G Hoon Ha. Does it mean anything? Like well, G means um, um, intelligent. Oh. Hoon means fragrant. And then my last name H O doesn't really mean anything. Okay. It's just a lineage. Who That's came? Who came up with your name? Did your parents or is it? Mm, like? My parents. Okay. And um, all right. How did you end up in Moorhead? Uh, I played tennis. And I played tennis in Hawaii for two years in the Division Two college, mm -hmm. and then I wanted to go to Division One, and um, I found Moorhead, and then I transferred here two semesters ago. Do you like it here? Um, it's a big change. Um, I've never been in a place. How is it different from? It's where cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's it's um it's never below sixty five where I'm from. I need to go there. Um, or right. Saipan, not in Korea, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were born. I was born in South Korea. But where then, were you reared? I immigrated to Saipan. Mm -hmm. It's an island in the Pacific Ocean at the age of four. Okay, how long were you there for? Till I was 18. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So you've been there for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So how are you adapting to just being in the U.S. period? Um, Saipan is a part of the United States. Is it? So okay. it wasn't hard at all. And I, I stayed in Hawaii for two years, so right. it wasn't a problem. What languages do you speak besides English? I speak Korean. Korean. Um, and English. Do you want to say anything for us? I know. Uh, I know how you say it. Yeah. Say? The regular, uh, like, hi or yeah, something. Hey. Uh, hi, you can say, an annyeong. Annyeong? Yeah, but the thing is, in Korea, if someone's older than you, you have to add certain words in the end of okay. sentences. Okay, like a formal and informal. So if I'm going to say it to someone older, I would say, annyeong haseyo, instead of annyeong. Oh. So, so, so that. Uh, Interesting. We, if we travel to your country, like, what's an important thing that we should know? Like, what's the one important thing that you think that we should know before? Just to prepare us, yeah. so we don't just look foolish. Um, it's saying, like, goodbye, like, you know, like, is anything that's different, or can you just say bye, or is it a certain way you greet each uh, other? When, yeah, when you greet someone, you have to kind of bow down. 
Okay. Total, so know, if I'm like visiting halfway. and I see like an elderly, just when I'm saying hi to them, do I have to like? Yeah, but not only an elderly. Even anybody, one everybody. Year, one year older than you, it's still an elderly. Okay, so it's for all yeah. ages. Okay. Basically, yeah. Is the money different? Like, does it have the same value? Like a dollar if we go there with a dollar? We, um, we go by one. That's what it's called. The currency is called one. Oh, and does it equal to the U.S.? No, nah, it's one dollar is like fourteen hundred. Huh? One. Really? So it's, it sounds a lot more <laughs> than it really, really is. But it's really not. Oh, okay. $1,401. Oh, okay. Okay. So it wouldn't be higher or lower? It's the same amount? It's uh, weaker. Oh. Weaker. Okay. Which, U.S. is weaker or? No, no, Korean. Okay, so what can I buy with 1401 Uh, Maybe an ice cream? Oh, <laughs> shoot. Like That's something. Cream. I love ice, ice cream. cream. Me too. <laughs> love ice cream. Okay, so what's your plans after you leave Moorhead? Are you ever planning on going back to North Korea or what uh, you... South Korea. Sorry, South, South Korea. Korea. Oh, we're so sorry. It's very oh, sorry. different, yeah. It's no worse. It's okay. Um, I'm going to graduate from here. I'm graduating next fall. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm going to try finishing my uh, master's right away oh. in the United States. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Yep. For now, again. Ji Hoon. Thank you, Ji Hoon, for coming, and we're looking for great things from you, okay? Yep, no problem. All right, till next time. Hi, welcome to the Moorhead State Theater and Dance Box, Box office. office. I'm Bria. And I'm Kat. If you're looking for class information or want to change your major, then you've, you've come, come to, to the wrong place. place. However, if you'd like to make a reservation or you'd like a ticket to the show, we've got, got you covered. covered. We're located in the lobby of Breckenridge Hall and our hours are from noon to 5 Monday through Friday. You can't come by, you say? That's okay. Call us at 606-783-2170. Your phone's dead, you say? Shoot us an email at mtdboxoffice at moreheadstate.edu. Feel free to come by and ask us questions about our upcoming shows. See you soon! Hey, welcome back. We have our next guest with us. Can you tell us your full name? My name is Sarah Fallon Kaindu. Oh, wow. That's a pretty name. name. What does it mean? My name means a princess. As you know, it's from the Bible. Sarah. From the Bible. Yes. <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from Congo. OK. Where is Congo in Africa? Yeah. OK. Um, how's your experience been here so far? Mm, I like it. I mean, it's better than Congo. How long have you been in America? I've been here for seven years. Mm, that's good. That's good. Why is it better than Congo, you think? Because over here we got food stamp, free food. <laughs> <laughs> you said the food stamp? <laughs> free education. So uh, education not free in Congo? No, it's not. Oh, okay. So how, what do I have to do to go to school when I'm in Congo, if I was to live in Congo? To be honest, to go to Congo right now, uh, to go to school in Congo is hard because there's war going on. So a lot of people not, don't go to school. Okay. okay. So they're like homeschool? No, they're refugees. They don't got nowhere to go because it's war. Okay. okay. So how does um, America d differ besides the war? What are some things about Congo that's different from America? In America, like the government care about you. Like people got Medicare in Congo, like the government don't care about you. They just care about themselves. Okay. But what languages do you speak? Do you speak more than one language? Yeah, I speak five languages. Oh, what Which are they? one? I speak Swahili, Lingala, Nyanja, Bemba, and English. What's your favorite one that you speak? Swahili. Can you tell us like how to say hello or goodbye in Swahili? Abari. Abari. That sounds pretty. Abari, That's Brittany. Abari. That's and cool. what about, um, I thought you said um, in Congo, do they speak any other languages than they speak a lot of languages. Oh, wow. Yeah. How does that work? Do you all get confused? Yeah, it's like every city got their own language. Oh, okay. Wow, so it's like if, when you travel, which is good, like you learn a lot of different languages? Yeah, but the main language is like French and Swahili. Okay, what do you plan on doing after you leave Moorhead? Like, what's your... I want to go back to Congo and help people, like the suffering from the wall. Oh, that's okay, good. that's your dream, to so go yeah. back and help. That's mm -hmm. good. That's How good. you plan on doing that, just out of curiosity? Because, you know, your safety is very important as well. Well, I'm always saying, like, I was born in Congo, mm -hmm. so I want to die in Congo, so 
I want to go back to Congo to help people now graduate from my, I mean, from college. Okay. okay. So if I wanted to visit, do, would you recommend that I visit Congo right now? Should I have a tourist? Uh? I don't know, because I feel like, yeah, there's violence in Congo. I don't think you should go in Congo right now. So, like, so it's nothing, like, do you think eventually, like, war will end in Congo? I mean, that's why we always think that it will end, but they will be gone for so long and mm -hmm. there's still no heading. So we don't know. It's like people give up up on Congo, so we don't know. Okay. Well, have you been in any other parts of Africa that you would recommend us to go and visit? Yeah, I've been to Zambia, which, I mean, they're racist. They don't like, Congo they don't like Congolese people, but they don't have war in the country. Okay, so yeah. is it close to Congo? Though? Yeah, we crossed the border from Congo to Zambia. Okay, and as far as your money, like, did, is your money when y'all came here, were y'all able to trade your money in? Like, no, oh, you, you came wanna... with nothing. <laughs> you came with nothing? Yeah. Okay. okay, well, if I want to go, do I need a passport to travel to? Of course, you need a passport. And what else do I need? A visa? Yeah. So you need a visa? You need a visa. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Well, that's good to know. Well, do you. What are you, your plans after? You already asked me that. Oh, yeah. Her plans are for her to um, oh, that's go back it? and help. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just You're not ever going to come back to America? Just go back and die? Yeah, I want to stay there. Since, I, like I say, that's where my family is. I want to stay where my people is. All right, well, okay. thank you for being on the show You're and informing welcome. us about Congo. You're welcome. Thanks. We'll oh. be back right after this. Back. We have our next guest. Hey. Can you tell us your full name? Kemuel Kesley Ferreira dos Santos. Oh, wow. Oh. That is a long, <laughs> name. <laughs> long name. Does it have any meaning to it? Yeah, my first name means like a, a God's house. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's and that's nice. it? Your other, the other parts? Uh, don't have a mean. Oh, okay. It's a, like a family mean, a family name. Okay. okay, where are you from? Brazil. Okay, how did you end up in Moorhead? Um, this is um, a scholarship program mm -hmm. between um, Mohead and Marshall mm -hmm. and Goiânia and Florianópolis in, from Brazil, mm -hmm. in Brazil. Uh, this is a scholarship program and we have um, one semester okay. here. And they pay Thir for you? Yeah, oh. I have a, a, all things here paid okay. for oh, my wow. scholarship. Oh, yeah. It's good. like a, um, uh, three students here three students from Mohead there. Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. So it's like, yeah, yeah that, that. Okay, um, cool. how has your experience been here? Like your experience, like how has it been? Has everybody been like friendly and stuff? Yeah, R pretty cool here. <laughs> you like it? I'm liking, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so would much. you come back after you did it? Yeah, you? I, I will come back. I, I uh, Recently, I got my master's degree mm -hmm. in another city close here. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. And so what what brought you here? I know you said for school, but what program? Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm waiting. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm waiting. Um, my professor talked me about it. Now, which program okay. are you studying now for this semester? For this semester here? Mm -hmm. Music. Music. Okay. Just, uh, percussion. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Do you play any instruments? Yeah. I play, I play uh, percussion is my, my major, mm -hmm. but I play guitar and okay. a lot of that a mixture uh, stuff? Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, so since you're from Brazil, what um, other languages do you speak besides English? Uh, just Portuguese. Just it's Portuguese. My, my, my main. Can you say some of the words? In, like, hey. Portuguese? Yeah. Oi. Oi is Oi. hey. Yeah. Okay. Oi, que Prazer em conhecê-los. Oh, I nice can't say all that, but. Nice Oi. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again. Nice 
prazer em conhecê-las. Oh, that sounds so complicated, but I'm pretty sure it's simple. <laughs> yeah, it comes so simple for you. <laughs> I know, it's so, so <laughs> simple. Well, that's cool, though. I'm happy that you guys are here. Um, and that you guys actually have the opportunities to come to U U.S. and study and experience yeah. somewhere other that's than. That's awesome. Yeah. So what is Brazil nice. known for? Like, if I want to go to Brazil, like, what is a place that I must go sightsee? Like, what is a place that you would definitely recommend that place? I do not know? Yeah. Brazil. Well, in Brazil, is a big country you you have different place for example on center you have like um, uh, historical cities mm -hmm. on the south or southwest you have a uh, carnival in on new I heard about the carnival. carnival yeah, yeah. Carnival. <laughs> carnival is famous in northern you have um, a lot of natural place beats beautiful beats uh, yeah, and some uh, culture and African Brazilian culture is there, oh, really? and in all of my country. But yeah, it's it's, it's stronger there. there okay. That's good. Something. That's pretty cool. So if I want to go to Brazil, do I need how much money should? Would you recommend I bring to have a decent time, like to have a pretty de decent time there, That's like the currency, money. money wise? How much for you? Are, yeah, mm -hmm. like to have a good time, like go ahead. Uh, I don't know because uh, one one. One dollar is one eight nine oh. guys. So is our Close money worth like more than you guys, or is y'all money worth more? Like a dollar. Like a if we bring a dollar, it's like a one 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 eight nine <laughs> for one, so one eight nine guys. It's not no more. It's almost double. Okay. okay. Yeah, That's one right. for two almost. All right. Sometimes, well. yeah. Hey. Thank you, Kim Well, for coming to speak Thank to you. us. It's Thank you. It's interesting. Right. And now we're about to go on our next commercial break, and we'll have our next guest. Are you tired? Do you feel like a zombie for most of the day? Well, why do you think that is? Let's rewind, shall we? Oh, I see. Up late studying again, huh? Well, how can we fix this? Welcome back. We have with us Jennifer Raymond. Jennifer Raymond. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Jennifer? I'm from Haiti. Okay. Um, how has your experience been here in Moorhead? <laughs> I will skip that question. <laughs> no, um, my experience has been interesting. It's, it's different mm -hmm. from what I'm used to as far as where I'm from in Haiti mm -hmm. and where I'm originally from also in Florida. Mm -hmm. So it's been different. Is it smaller? Is it more? Definitely smaller. Mm -hmm. but comfortable which is good comfortable so and the I people here are they have they welcomed you friendly, okay. friendly. that's you good friendly. <laughs> <laughs> how is it different just the it's just i'm from florida and i think that speaks for itself you're just a city girl the city the and this is like the country yeah now. but like i said it's comfortable i wouldn't mind having house a house here okay to get away but not to stay all right how many <laughs> languages do you speak um, I speak two languages. Which are? Creole and English. Can you say something in Creole? Um, bonsoir. Well, that's actually French, because Creole is like a broken down okay. French. Okay. So, let me think of something that's actually Creole. Um, Moi content jodi. And what is that? I'm happy today. As, see? <laughs> I like that. I like that. It's pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Yeah. Like simple. What are your plans after um, you leave Moorhead? Um, I plan on graduating Moorhead with a... Uh, bachelor's in health promotion. I plan on continuing my education in nursing also. But besides my <coughs> degrees, I have a couple of projects that me and my um, close friend is working on. So just look out for a couple of um, entrepreneurship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if I want to go to Haiti, what um, should I bring with me? As what should you bring with you? Mm -hmm. A camera, because every moment, every moment spent in Haiti is definitely a scene to remember. Oh. 
And how was the money different? Like, was it different for you coming here? Is the money less? Or um, I was actually born in America. Oh, okay. But my family originated from Haiti, okay. so, and I've been traveling to Haiti since okay. I was three months old. So I had a lot of experience over there, and as far as the money, our mon American money is more, mm -hmm. but, and, but we do use it in Haiti. The, the merchants would gladly take it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. What is, um... Can you educate us about the culture and hey, like mm -hmm. food, music, you know, different yeah. things? Well, I mean, like I said, I was born in America, so I am American, mm -hmm. but by heart and by blood, it is definitely Haiti. So I have nothing but wonderful things to say. Mm -hmm. um, the music is beautiful. The music is soothing. The music is things mm -hmm. that you could dance to and not just pop to. <laughs> like, if that makes any yeah. sense. Makes the food, of, of course, is wonderful. I mean, we don't really believe in fast food. We What's definitely your favorite food. dish? My favorite dish is de blunt and poisson. Yeah. Simple. You got to say what that means. But I'm going to definitely say yeah, what it yeah. is. And you're going to see how simple it is. Fish and rice. Okay. But it's just so good. <laughs> the way they make it. The way, the way they make it. The season. Yes. All right. That's cool. It's all a part. Like, the food is not just the food that you're eating. It's what comes with making the food you know mm -hmm. what i mean it's the seasoning the preparation and the love that's put into mm -hmm. it and that's definitely involved in haitian cuisine yeah that does speak Good. a lot especially the love well thank you jennifer thank for you. coming welcome thanks yeah. for having me ladies you're welcome. We enjoyed you being here thank you. and we're going on our next commercial break and we have our last guest for today's show and we'll be right back <laughs> Welcome back. We have our last international student here with us that we're interviewing. Hey, what is your name? Uh, Juan Anae. Does it um, mean anything? No, but my middle name, which is Lena, mm -hmm. is actually like the same name, but my name is really common in Romania, so. Okay, so you're from? Romania. Okay, and how long have you been here? Two years. And how has your experience been here? It's been okay. Uh, it was a a lot different because I'm from the capital, so I'm from a big city. Okay. And even the countryside of America is really different than the countryside from Romania. Like in Romania, everything is more. You can go to the countryside from an interstate. Like when you drive there, you see all the houses and everything, and it's really pretty. Oh, all right. Wow. What languages do you all speak in Romania? Romanian. <laughs> Just Romanian. Yes. So coming to America, you had to learn English, or did mm, you? No, I learned English since middle school in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. So I've been studying English for a while. Okay. okay. Will you um, say anything like a greeting, teach us something in your language? Buna uh -huh. Which means what? Hi, how are you? Oh, okay. Is what again? Buna cefac. Buna cefac. Yes. Buna cefac. Yeah, cefac. 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 Yes. Okay. Buna cefac. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, it's different. Mm-hmm. So what are you doing in Moorhead? What brought you to Moorhead? I had a friend that wanted to come to another school in Kentucky because mm -hmm. her sister was studying there. But she didn't get it, so I actually found about more on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> and people <laughs> are so against Wikipedia, Wikipedia, right? <laughs> so everybody's <laughs> laughing when you hear about like, yep, I found out about Morehead on Wikipedia, and then I went to the website of Morehead, and I found about the honor scholarship, and I applied, and here I am now. Oh, well, we're happy to have you here. Um, how um, has your experience been here like as far as schooling, and is, is it the same as in Romania, or is it different? Uh, well, in Romania, you study more, and like you don't put into um, practice what you study like mm -hmm. you do like a lot of like memorizing and stuff memorizing but instead yes. of le actually learning yes it? oh i would love to go there oh i hate it <laughs> I have to, um, that's so, so much no, easier you don't know what you're asking for she was for. from there she probably wouldn't like it you don't know oh, when, like when you have to learn 300 pages for a oh, final okay. you have oh, oh, five finals i take it back <laughs> i take it back <laughs> 
So trust me, it's better. <laughs> oh wow, it's probably better to learn. Yeah, so you can actually know instead of memorizing. That exactly. Takes, yeah. so after you memorize, you forget after a while. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so what about the money? If I want to travel to Romania, mm -hmm. how much money, sh you know, should I bring to just live comfortable just for a week? Mm -hmm. $100. Really? <laughs> really? The currency? Yes. Is it very low? Like the yes, currency? like $1 is like 3 lei because you have like leu. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So it's like a dollar is $3 there? No, a dollar oh. is 3 lei. Mm -hmm. What can I buy with 3 lei? Like, yeah. Just so I can have an understanding. Yeah, of what? Like, hmm. You can buy like a bottle of Coke. Okay. So, so okay, one. Okay, that okay. makes sense. Makes sense. I see what you're Just saying. basically, a bottle of Coke is one dollar. That's interesting. What do you um, plan on doing when you leave Moorhead? Like, what is your major and what are you going to I am a public relations major mm -hmm. and I want to move back to a city. Okay. <laughs> so, I want to like find a master's school. A city? In, on here? The, yeah, in the United States. Okay. On the East Coast. Oh, and plus we live there. Oh, you have it off? So, yeah. you're not going back to Romania? Um, not. Right now, does not even to live my, or to visit. Friends. I will go visit obviously mm -hmm. a lot. Like I'll probably go more often. I'm going right now, but not to live there. Let's see what she's okay. saying. That's interesting. Well, I'm happy that you are were able to come to um, Moorhead, yeah. and, and I'm happy too. <laughs> the experience of yeah. learning instead of memorizing. Mm -hmm. And look, you didn't even <laughs> you came and you teaching us about your culture. So I yeah. think that was awesome. Yeah. So, well, and you guys are teaching me about your culture. <laughs> well, we're happy we, we will, can do we that. We will, we will. But well. thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. welcome. Cool. We're about to go on our next commercial, and we'll be back with our conclusion. Thank you. thank all the international students that came on the show today to inform us on the students that are here and to know that it's other cultures here that are here for many different reasons. Right, and Moorhead is getting more diverse and mm -hmm. we are just so happy to have these different cultures. There's many more that wasn't mentioned today on the show, but we're just so blessed just to have them here so we can learn from them and just to grow from them and I'm very pleased to have that you know because and I think culture is so beautiful yeah. being around people with different languages with being able to share different food different you know historical backgrounds I just think that is just and so amazing aren't you from Haitian I am also from Haiti we speak Haiti. Creole and I am Haitian okay okay <laughs> but um I am just I don't know. I'll How has your experience been here? My experience has been wonderful. From Haiti, I was actually born in Haiti. Jennifer mm -hmm. was not born in Haiti. I was actually born in Haiti, and mm -hmm. I came here when I was in the third grade. Mm -hmm. And um, from third grade, I just went straight to Florida, and I've been in Florida forever. And I know more about Florida than I do Haiti, unfortunately, because I'm not really, I don't keep up with the culture. Yeah as like Jennifer really keeps up with the culture, and I don't, and I feel pretty bad about that. And my Creole is terrible for someone that was born in <laughs> Haiti. It's terrible. My mother makes fun of me all the time because so I don't you know, were it's really bad. fluent in English now because it's what you're speaking more every mm -hmm. day. Well, but this is our last show of the semester. Unfortunately. And we thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, they're doing that. Bye, y'all. You guys did a bad <laughs> okay. Okay.
Day two, cramming for midterms. I feel my energy running low, and the worst part is, not even coffee's helping. I traveled far and wide in an attempt to find something to quench my thirst, and then I saw it. Water. Salvation.